This week's movies, The Great Beauty, Faust, and Nebraska. Do you remember me? Bernie Bowen, how you doing? Pretty good. Well, that's what I hear. Everybody's saying how Woody Grant's the millionaire. Well, that's the most exciting news around here for ages. That's no big deal. Directed by Alexander Payne, Nebraska is about a father and son road trip in the heartland of America. In his review, A.O. Scott writes, This is a comedy, but a grim, unmistakable shadow falls across its wintry landscape. The chilling implication of this film is not that the old values of hard work, family, and community have fallen away, but that they were never really there to begin with. Yet somehow the feeling that lingers after the last shot is the opposite of despair. If you listen to Nebraska all the way through, you will come away with this thought. At the end of every hard-earned day, people find some reason to believe. Are you ever sorry you married her? All the time. Could have been worse. Well, you must have been in love. At least at first. Never came up. La più consistente scoperta che ho fatto pochi giorni dopo aver compiuto 65 anni è che non posso più perdere tempo a fare cose che non mi va di fare. Directed by Paolo Sorrentino, The Great Beauty is the story of a man, a city, a country, and a cinema. In her review, Manola Dargis writes, To an extent, the film is about main character Jep Gambardella's awakening to a world that has become so much atmospheric noise. At one point, he casually tells friends that the best people in Rome are the tourists. It sounds like a glib aside, yet as he emerges from the long wandering that has defined him, a drift, perhaps, shared by one and all, he opens up to awe, affirming what all visitors know. We are only passing through, so we'd better make the most of the visit. Fantasie? Ich habe keine Fantasie. Dafür habe ich was Besseres. Ich habe einen Plan. Directed by Alexander Sukarov, Faust is an adaptation of Goethe's allegorical drama. In his review, A.O. Scott writes, Do not suppose the film is a dry exercise in philosophical reflection. While he is certainly driven by ideas, the director's methods are sensual, earthy, and at times almost dementedly passionate. The movie expands in its frame, surpassing simple comprehension, and continues to grow in your mind, and perhaps blow it long after it's over. <laughs>